so I want to talk to you guys about a few things that I've mentioned before that I'm still learning. I'm in the process of learning. Remember I told you I had strainers that were too big and too large and too wide and all of that jazz. Well, I had the big splatter thing that's obviously too wide, too large or whatever. I had one a little larger than this which was again too large because I ended up having to hold it up over the uh, jar and it splashed everywhere. So <clears throat> that was too big. This one ended up being perfect. Uh, the mesh, how uh, close the mesh is or far apart because it doesn't need to be too close or it'll clog fast as well as the side. So this ended up being really, really good. However, um, we were running around into the in the home improvement store and this sink drain was there and I looked at the mesh really well and I was like wow that looks like it's a nice size for the mesh and look how it sinks inside the cup or jar or whatever you're pouring into and it, and it came in packs of three it wasn't very expensive maybe five dollars for you know two or three of these and um of course like i say it fits directly into the jar and i just pour it in there i may have to um you know rinse it off once during the pour but no more than once is usually sufficient really so i wanted to mention that and speaking of going to the home improvement store and making the trip there about us <laughs> because we got a new backsplash which he's still going to grout this weekend, I believe. But like I said, uh, making the home improvement store about you. I picked up a few things, a couple of things. I've got about five, six of these. <laughs> because I told you before that I was using the baby bottle brush, the, actually the small end, for the juicer, the blender cup of the juicer and um that was very sufficient uh this would just get in the way for the most part though that's pretty much useless but i guess there's some other bowl uh bottle or something i could use it for this then came with the new juicer which just showed me well maybe i'm just behind my time obviously there are a, lot, a number of things you could use sufficiently so this was um, pretty cute but it's white and i'm more creative than that and when i saw these the first thing my mind went to was, wow, wouldn't this be perfect to clean the blender bowl with? And it is. It just fits perfectly in your hand. The brush part sticks out just enough where you can scrub throughout the mesh holes where you need to and flip it over and do the damn thing. So while I was at it, I got these. <laughs> which are, you know, for your, this is car stuff. It's a, my really soft microfiber. I originally thought of it for a kitchen um, dish rag, but the instructions on washing them says you can't wash it in bleach or, or detergent or something or whatever. I just don't want to not be able to wash uh, a dish towel that I'm going to have to use again. <clears throat> I mean, wash with some kind of cleaning agent without uh, being concerned about it coming apart or something. So I'm just gonna end up dusting with those, I'm sure. So here is what I call my Yamit juice. And you'll see why I call it my Yamit juice. All it is, is one sweet potato, four carrots, and one half of a pineapple. And what I do though is buy my own pineapple and I score it and then I s slice it into four into long quarters, long so they'll fit down the chute, and um, also so that I can get more of the pineapple out of it for more juice. So this is actually going to be enough for two. This would be considered, and I, I'm st again, I'm still learning. So I have now learned to get things like my beets and yams. I get them in smaller, longer forms that will fit down a juicer chute. But live and learn, and I told y'all, you're going on the journey with me. I cook. I'm not the chef, so there's a big old difference between that. Yeah, here goes. I could probably show it to you, but I don't want to suffer your eardrums with the uh, juicer, although it's not as loud as the more expensive juicer. 
I hope y'all can see how vibrant this orange color is. Mmm. And it smell. It smells like orange cream sherbet and it tastes like orange cream sherbet. You know what I'm gonna do one time? I'm going to um freeze this bad boy and make like a slushy out of it. Oh my god, I bet that would be good this summer. Mmm. I can smell taste this joint. 